You down with the ACV? Yeah, you know me. 13 amazing benefits and uses of apple cider vinegar. This thing's got to get into your life. Let's go. Number one, of course, the best benefit, in my opinion, it lowers blood sugar. It lowers your insulin sensitivity. There are studies that show taking anywhere from one to four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar a day can lower your insulin sensitivities by up to 34%. On top of that, when you start lowering blood sugar levels, lowering insulin levels, it lowers your blood pressure, has an impact on your cholesterol, and it just improves overall heart health, let alone the health of your liver and your waistline. This is massive, lowering the blood sugar. Now, if you don't like to drink it, you don't like to uh, take it in, you try to figure out a recipe or way to put it in. In the description below, I put a link to three apple cider vinegar recipes so that you can drink it to get the insulin lowering effect or take it in a powder form. There's a link for that below as well. Number two, when the insulin and the blood sugar are going down, so is your weight. So it lowers weight by one, burning more fat, lowering the insulin levels, putting your body into more fat burning mode, burning more belly fat. But apple cider vinegar has also been shown to make you feel more full. So an easy hack is to just do a little cap full before each meal. It's gonna help you digest carbohydrates better, keep the blood sugar down, help you feel more full. And it's shown that those that take apple cider vinegar eat fewer calories. Number three, apple cider vinegar is a deodorizer. So you may try one part apple cider vinegar, one part water in a spray bottle, and you have yourself a natural Febreze, of course, without all the toxins. Number four, apple cider vinegar can improve your digestive function. So one, it helps to break foods down better. Two, if you do suffer with acid reflux, and or heartburn, this may be a really easy thing to try. Again, using a cap full of apple cider vinegar just before the meal helps to digest that food better. Now, if you deal with an ulcer, ulcerative colitis, this might not be the thing for it because it could irritate that ulcer. However, if you're just dealing with acid reflux or heartburn, this is an excellent thing to try for digestion. Also, those of you that suffer with bloating, adding a cap full of apple cider vinegar or powdered apple cider vinegar to your regimen would be a great way to reduce that. Number five, ACV improves your hair health. One of the nutrients taking in, but actually using it on your hair, it can remove product buildup that might be building up, especially on your roots. It can detangle your hair and it can add shine to your hair. Now, if you're a dandruff sufferer, this may be worth looking into. If you have one part apple cider vinegar, one part water, and put a little mixture in your shower or in your tub, try that on your scalp at the early part of the shower, get yourself cleaned, right? Then apply that if you're in the shower or the bath, another five, 10, 15 minutes, just let the apple cider vinegar sit on there and then rinse before you leave the bath or leave the shower. It's an excellent natural remedy against dandruff that might just knock it out for you. Number six, in the kitchen, apple cider vinegar is the perfect vinaigrette. Now you can make it just to put on a salad, sprinkle it on. I like to do that, just a cap full of it on a salad, along with an olive oil or an avocado oil. Or even better yet, my favorite is using it in chicken salad or tuna salad or egg salad. Now, the mayonnaise that I recommend is more of a, either a grapeseed oil based or an avocado based uh, mayonnaise coat that around your chicken or whatever salad you are making, broccoli salad this works for as well, and then put a cap full of the apple cider vinegar in the salad. It is fantastic, gives it a little bit of kick. Number seven, apple cider vinegar is a great all-purpose cleaner. One cup of water, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, put it in a spray bottle. It's antimicrobial, so it sanitizes while it gives a bit of a freshness, and I kind of like the smell of apple cider vinegar. It's got a clean smell to it. That could be your all-purpose cleaner for very cheap. Number eight, ACV is an anti-aging agent. It's got a lot of antioxidants in it. So when you take it in a powder or a liquid form, you're getting those antioxidant benefits, but you could actually put it right on your skin as a toner. Now, 
Make sure you're not sensitive to it, but one part apple cider vinegar, two parts water, and you could dab it on with a uh, cotton ball or just apply it to the face as a toner. Number nine, if you're anything like the living goods, we keep a lot of fresh fruit and fresh vegetables in our house. We eat a ton of them, but it attracts some fruit flies. So ACV is the perfect fruit fly trap. Put a little dish of it or a little plate of it on the counter. Maybe add a little bit of dish soap to it to kind of trap the flies when they land on it. But those fruit flies will be attracted to it as soon as they hit it. Good way to kill them, trap them. And that soap kind of keeps them in there as well and get rid of those fruit flies if they're bothering you flying around. And we don't like any bugs around our house, so it's something easy to use. Number 10, ACV is a great fruit wash. So if you do consume a lot of fresh fruit, especially strawberries, blueberries, we eat a lot of these in our house, blackberries. One simple thing you can do is take a larger dish or bowl and then fill it with water, put in a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, and then take your fruit and submerge merge it in that solution it'll kill off the molds on the outside you can you know kind of wash and shake up and you could pour the strawberries actually right in there or the berries right in there and it's going to also help with the chemicals and getting those off and it remember it kills bacteria so if there is any kind of bacteria or salmonella or anything built up on the fruit this is going to help eliminate it as well so it's a great fruit or vegetable wash number 11 acv is great for acne you could take it straight up and put it directly on a pimple or a blemish on the skin be sure sure you test it first a little bit to make sure your skin doesn't have irritation for it, but that might be the thing that helps to clear up a bad outbreak or an acne outbreak, whether it's on your back or on your face. You may try just a little bit of cotton swab, ACV, right to the skin. Number 12, apple cider vinegar is great for sore throats. You can actually gargle with it. So you could put one part water, one part apple cider vinegar, take it, gargle it. I know it's not going to taste the greatest and you can spit it back out. It is antimicrobial, so it kills bacteria especially in the mouth, very good for the throat and soothing the throat and killing off any invaders that might be making it sore. Finally, number 13, ACV, of course, and vinegar as a whole, great food preservative. My favorite recipe, one of my favorites as a kid growing up was taking and chopping up fresh cucumbers with all the amazing nutrients that they hold and then putting them in a bowl with water, monk fruit, and apple cider vinegar. And my mom would keep them in the uh, in a bowl. And so putting in the apple cider vinegar preserved them from them breaking down, gave them a crispiness, a little bit of sweetness with the monk fruit. It's a fantastic recipe, especially during hotter months, but this could be done all year round to be munching on cucumbers regularly and be able to make sure that they don't break down on you. It's a good food preservative, ACV. So hopefully now you're also down with ACV. Yes, you know me, we should be because it's got so many different benefits and it's fantastic especially if you're trying to lose weight. And speaking of cucumbers, there's also 13 incredible and amazing benefits and uses of cucumbers. So I took that video and put it right here for you because I think it's a really cool next step for these amazing foods and what they do for our body.